what's he talking about? Are they jokes? So they go like this. So you know when, um, I don't remember any of them all of a sudden. They all run away. Anyway, I am, um, mentally ill. I know that for sure. My therapist has been very clear about that. I am mentally ill. It is not physical, it's mental. And I'm not sure though if I'm emotionally ill. She won't tell me. She says I have to wait till the spring to show I mean that that I care enough. She says she's not going to tell me unless I can uh, make a commitment till spring. But I'm hoping I am emotionally ill. It doubles my disability. I was raised Mormon, and they're very nice people. Very nice people up to a certain point, and then they're not very nice at all. So I think they're just like everybody else's mother. Mine took it very seriously in my family. So I think it's very much like all other religions. Joseph Smith found golden plates, translated them into the Book of Mormon. Became a polygamist, right? Remember all this? Just like everybody else. And then the American government said, don't be polygamists anymore, and God said, okay. I think everybody's the same. But I came from this very religious background, and so I was very sexually repressed. I think that's right when they become very not nice, is when you become sexually mature. So they really don't want you putting your dick anywhere, do they? Very anti-penis in that church. So, you know, when I came out of it in my twenties... I, I think I went to bed crazy, didn't I? I went, I chose to be gay. Just to piss my mom off, I think. And just, you know, to prove it, that you can choose to be gay. So I chose to be gay for a, a decade or so. Now I choose to be straightish. But the thing that I remember from my time being gay, my decade of homosexuality, my decade of choosing to be a homosexual, I learned that if you're using a condom and you take it off your cock, remember, your cock tastes disgusting right now. So don't be offering it to anybody. Wash it off first. And people kind of forget this, and I want to... It's like... Remember when you were a kid, and you'd blow up a balloon and it had that taste in it, that bitter taste. It's like that. Think of that, but think of it like balloons taste like that, but then think of it fucking, like balloons fucking. Like balloon people. That's what it tastes like, fucking balloons. Your taste, your dick tastes like fucking balloons. Don't be offering it to anybody. So those are my jokes. They're difficult to deliver. I'm not really sure if I got the delivery right. I'm going to work on them a little bit.